Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. So which one of the two apples we know more commonly, the red or the green, is the most reliable for health benefits? Which one is the best? Which is actually more beneficial for our health? Would it be the red apple or the green apple? As a matter of fact, there are very little amount of studies talking about the difference of red and green apples. But believe it or not, in many aspects, green apples can be way better in health benefits or in the number and the potential health benefits uh, as a dietary ingredient for your health. So today we're going to learn what green apples can be used for. What do they do to your body? What they contain? What type of studies are out there? telling you and talking about what the health benefits of these potential fruits for your health can be. So don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share <coughs> with someone that might be needing this information. Sorry for that. And don't forget that we are live. If you have a question, leave your comment down below. I'll be happy to assist you. If you need supplements, you can find, you can find them at finelandvitamins.com or drlandivar.com. All right, let's start. I don't know if you've ever seen an apple tree. And let me just say and point out that apples do not normally look like, like they do at a supermarket. At a supermarket, you will find them. They are shiny. They look like they've, they've, they're out of maybe they've been washed out with maybe some type of plastic. It's a wax, obviously. And they really do not look like real apples in nature. And that's why I'm guessing they will never say that they are organic. Or if they do say they have, a, they have an excipient, they always do if they look too shiny, to make them look good at the supermarket, and they end up not being maybe as natural as you would want them. This is what a good natural green apple looks like. Pale to some extent if you want, does not, ha does not have any wax, and it does not have to be perfect. Remember, when you're looking for organic, it does not have to look perfect. If it looks perfect, then it's probably not organic. It's probably genetically modified. It probably has some type of manipulation that will take away some of the benefits that you're looking for in fruits and vegetables. So what is or what are green apples good for? First and foremost, green apples. Now, here's the difference. Red apples themselves will actually increase anxiety for eating more food, but green apples will suppress that anxiety. They have two opposite effects, and green apples have been seen to have three major flavanols to help out with obesity, lipids, meaning cholesterol, triglycerides, and oxidative stress. This is entirely true. You see, there are three things that will calm your anxiety for eating more food if you're on a diet, for example. First of all, it will be salts. Second, it will be acids. And third, it will be sugar. If you're taking acids, you're not, you're not actually increasing on the calories because you're limiting uh, the amount of, let's say, uh, the hormone that is being produced to increase more of a digestive process. If you take acid, something like is like found in green apples, and this is why apple cider vinegar also works, you can see that hunger may be decreased in order for you to lose weight and to increase that metabolic rate, which is one of the things also green apples can do. So don't forget to give this video a like button. Let me see if we have a question. If you need something natural, let me check and, and show you just for a minute. If you need something natural that can help you lose weight, help your body increase that burning of fat, support the body's ability to keep that thyroid function healthy, and obviously burn some fat in the process, go ahead and look for Appleizer. It has apple cider vinegar. It has seaweed, kelp, many vitamins that will increase your uh, your potential to burn fat. Look for free uh, figurizer. Figurizer. I took it like a week. I almost disappeared. I had like I had lost so much weight just to try it out. I don't really need to lose weight, but just to try it out. It's just incredible. And Garcinia Cambodia will, will take away the hunger or the anxiety you have to eat more if you're on a diet. Number two. This is something not many people know about. Pay attention. Green apples contain quercetin, right? And quercetin is an anti, let's say, an antihistamine substance, natural substance, that will actually block a lot of the allergies we see every day. Now, in order for you not to have allergies, you have to have a good immune function. You have to have good probiotics, 
But at the same time, you have to have a decreased rate of production of this histamine substance that will cause and exacerbate your asthma or your allergies or whatever you have, maybe sinusitis, whatever you have. And green apples, this is not something that people know, green apples have the potential effect to help you deal with a better lung function, less, uh, less allergic reactions, less episodes of asthma. If you don't believe me, why don't you try it? Go ahead and try it. I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing. Look at this Look at this article from John Hopkins University. John Hopkins would have never published this if people are not hungry to know about natural things today uh, as, as we're all looking for, right? So go ahead and try it. A study found that regular intake of tomatoes and apples, in this case, more specifically green apples, may also help to slow the natural decline of lung function among adults. Yes, not only lung function improves maybe allergies, it may even increase the body's ability to keep that immune, immune system healthy and will help out with all these conditions that you might have that have a very, uh, very high toll on, on children and people that suffer from a problem with their immune system. If you need something natural that, that contains a very good concentration of quercetin and a good well-balanced form and have, have those allergies go away and you feel better, look for allergy ease and look for probillion. I give my patients probillion and garlic gold for that immune function. Graviola gold also. Very, very good for immune function, increasing immune function, helping you out with that uh, flora. Probillion and D berry from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Let me see if we have a question, a question here. Let me ask this question and we'll keep on going. There's more information to it. All right, let's see. Uh, Arthur Phoenix is asking, I recently, I recently used green apple to help me with my digestion. Yes, green apples have the effect of improving that digestive process. First of all, it contains a lot of acid, right? They are a little bit more acid. That helps with the breakdown of food and digestion. But it also contains substances that will increase the good peristalsis you need in order to have a good movement of your digestive process. And this is very important because you need to go to the bathroom every day. You need to go do number two every day. You need to make sure that you're absorbing nutrients. And for that, you need a good movement of that peristalsic uh, activity. Let me see this other question and we'll keep on going. Uh, Tanya Jarvis. Hello, I'm from England. We have a few trees in, in this in my garden. Yes, I would love to have a couple of them. They really are spectacular. They really are. All right, number three, green apples. And this is a study talking about apples in general. An apple a day keeps dialysis away. This is a review of many studies talking about how there are more, if you want, more of a beneficial fruits for kidney disease and kidneys and others. And this is something that really, really bothers me a lot. I have, I've had so many patients tell me that they may, may, be, may be going to dialysis or are in dialysis. And they asked their, their doctors, what can I eat if I to prevent going into dialysis? And you know what they tell them? Most of them say, oh, you can eat whatever you want. Food doesn't really matter for your kidneys. I just grab my head and, my, and I, really, I, I really feel frustrated because how is it possible that we have, we're still thinking that whatever we eat is not going to affect our kidneys? That's impossible. Everything we eat, everything, everything we eat, will end up in some shape, weight, or form in our kidneys, our liver, our colon, and obviously it will have an effect. And this is a study, if you want to keep it out late, if you want to read it out later, uh, this is a very nice study talking about how apples might keep dialysis away because it helps protect those kidneys and helps support that kidney function for them to function properly and have a good uh, clean out and cleanse of whatever has to be cleaned out every single second of your day with what is being transported in your blood. So remember, apples are also maybe good for your kidneys. Do we have a question? Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share with someone that might be needing this information. If you need something to support kidney health, maybe you need something like that, look for urescence. People love, just simply love uh, kidney matrix, which you take in form of tea, okay? Kidney matrix from Fineland and D-berry from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. All right. Number, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention many of the many of the health benefits in one one shot. All right, number four, five, six, seven, and eight, whatever you want to call it. 
Apple phytochemicals, and in this case, again, more of a beneficial effect, green apples and red apples, on and with their health benefits. What do they actually do? So apples have been have been linked to many types of prevention of cancers. I'm going to highlight that if you want to read it with me. Cancers, cardiovascular disease, asthma. Remember I talked about just a minute ago. That is entirely true. Diabetes also. Green apples are, are and may be able to help you control better that glucose level if you have diabetes. And also, they, are, they also have a very strong antioxidant activity and they inhibit cancer proliferation. They have the decreased lipid oxidation, they lower cholesterol, and they have, remember what I told you at the beginning, quercetin. Okay, quercetin is going to help you out with allergies, reaction of that immune function, uh, asthma, everything I just mentioned in this video. So don't forget to give this video a like button, share with someone that might be needing this information. If you need something natural, there is just about everything or anything you might be needing to support your health overall at finelandvitamins.com. Neuromatrix is one of the best sellers for neuropathies, for people that need a support with nerve function and everything you might think of when it comes to supporting that nerve good function overall. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video and take care. God bless you all.